it is difficult maybe for 2 minutes 3 minutes if you want to keep quiet it may be easy but anything above 5 minutes you will find it very difficult keep doing nothing is very difficult in this world because we are so our mind is so tuned to so many things our mind will be thinking so many things in the, in the mind maybe what is going to happen in the school tomorrow or next day or what is the food our my mummy is preparing now and uh, what am i going to do what is the movie i am going to watch or what is the game i am going to play like that you will be thinking something when you think so many things you will do something anyway so doing nothing is not that easy it is very difficult that is why becoming a sanyasi is the most difficult thing in this uh, world you know we think that sanyasi is actually is enjoying no he is enjoying but then if i and you want to become sanyasi it is not that easy you have to sacrifice many things then only you can become sanyasi anyway with the small note we'll go straight away go into the you know one exercise uh, are you able to see a screen a blank uh, space uh, written english yes, yes sir. sir yeah okay i am going to write some word bird flying ocean sky fish eat and then angry so these are some words i have given in the uh, uh, in the screen bird fly maybe i'll put it fly ocean o c e a n no? ocean sky fish eat angry can you make some sentences one or two or three sentences using these yes, words sir. yeah one by one um yeah bird flies in the sky one minute one, one minute madam one minute madam i am okay yeah. somebody has come let let's uh, you know we will uh, allow him uh, he may be the last last person okay so we are saying okay well, this madam says my god again somebody is coming kya karega what to do okay okay birds you tell me birds fly flying birds on fly yeah birds fly yeah on us on a sky in the sky yeah uh, in the sky okay birds fly in the sky is the one sentence any other any other sentence you want to make others bird is hungry when one 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 one, 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 one we'll go one by one we'll go one by one madam we'll go one by one Uh, don't be in a hurry because there are some students who are six standard also. Birds are hungry or bird is hungry. This can be one. This is one. Or bird is hungry. If you if it is a plural, then it is ang. Uh, birds are hungry. If it is a single bird, we can say bird is hungry. Okay, right. What other sentence we can make? But. birds eating in the fish birds a bird a bird no b a r d b i a bird eats fish okay then so we have used all the words bird we have used fly we have used ocean ocean we have not used at at all ocean we have not fly, used fly sir uh, bird Yeah. When the when the bird is flying in the sky, it sh- it shows the ocean. Okay, 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 okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. Bird flies, fly. Bird, uh, uh, no, uh, flies, no, flies in the sky. Eh, above the ocean. Am I correct? Yes. Can it can I say like that? So where is the fish when now? It's where, the where is the fish? When it's above the ocean, it's saying hungry. One, one minute, one minute. I think somebody has come. Yeah, we'll go one by one. So, can somebody make a story with these four, uh, four sentences, five sentences? Can somebody, somebody make a story? Maybe I'll, I'll request one particular person to make a story. Uh, if that girl or boy is not able to do it, we'll go to somebody else. You know, because uh, so that uh, there will be some clarity will be there. Jenny Jeshwin, can you make a story using these five uh, sentences? five sentences are birds fly in the sky birds are hungry or bird is hungry whatever it is bird eats fish bird flies 
in the sky or above the ocean like that maybe there some other sentence also can make can you make a story out of this can you make a story out of this suppose you have to narrate a story for a lkg student no a kindergarten student uh, who is your uh, junior maybe your neighbor neighbor's kid who is studying only first standard or ukg or lkg i mean what ukg i mean first grade in america we call first grade the girl or a boy is first grade and our uh, uh, friend uh, rupesh uh, miss rupesh uh, is ninth standard she will teach that boy uh, that uh, boy or a girl so uh, she will tell some story can you make a story out of this any one of you i just said jenny jeshwit because i i am familiar with that name that is the reason can you make a story out of this you try so, yeah sir can i yeah please um birds are flying in a, in the sky mm. birds seems hungry and they saw fishes um on the, on the ocean mm. so they ate the fishes yeah can can you make a little uh, little longer story other somebody else i mean this good the story is good but can you make it a story should be a little interesting no uh some suspense uh, suspense if it is there uh it it should be yeah, interesting sir. yeah yes try sir can i yeah please please sir can i give a name for the bird yeah you give a name for the bird no problem you give a name anything yeah. you know Yeah. Once upon a time, once upon once upon a time, there was a bird called Ramesh. Hmm. It flies over the. It flies in the sky. Ah. When it saw the ocean, it felt hungry hmm. and ate the fish. Ate the fish. Okay. Okay. Good. It's better than the previous one. Can and I make it? It called his friends to meet with him. but they didn't came can you can you repeat it though that particular sentence okay yes sir yeah can Once you upon a time yeah. there was a bird called ramesh okay uh, when it flies in the sky mm. it saw the ocean and felt hungry mm. so it eats a fish and he called his friends but he friends didn't came Okay, did not come. Okay, did not come is the right way. Anyway, that's good. But only small hint. When it is flying over the ocean, it felt hungry. You said that. But instead of that, it felt hungry. So it wanted to eat something. So it flew over the ocean. Can we make? Can we make this change? Hello. Yes, Am I making it a point? I say I am saying. it felt hungry so it was actually flying over the sky over the ocean to catch some fish because it is hungry it went to the ocean something like that but in your statement you did in some other way okay anybody else in little little uh, uh, little spicy uh, little interesting this story can you make an interesting story can you make an interesting story you can you can uh, imagine something also you can imagine something you can imagine something okay let me make a story okay somebody has come i i will try to make a story out of this not necessarily mine is correct yours is wrong not like that so everything is correct maybe we will make it more interesting there is a bird by name ramesh and uh, ramesh mother is another bird which has given birth to ramesh only couple of uh, days back and uh, ramesh mother is teaching the bird ramesh how to fly and uh, the ramesh is uh, given training to fly above the ground in the sky 
and he was doing it mother mother is giving the practice of flying and uh, ramesh uh, bird ramesh uh, become tired and felt very hungry and she the ramesh asked for food with the mother bird mother bird said you fly over the ocean you will get the food and ramesh was not knowing what is going to happen and he took that instruction very uh, you know religiously uh, yeah, he followed that instruction and he fly uh, he flew over the uh, ocean he found lot of fish jumping uh, above the water and uh, ramesh fish i mean ramesh bird was flew very close to the ocean uh, on the on the surface of the ocean and then uh, this, uh, the ramesh uh, bird was trying to catch the fish but every time he failed to catch the fish by the time he reached the fish the fish goes into the water but finally after many attempts she could catch one fish and then she ate that fish so what i am trying to say here we are learning two things that ordinary something some words are given you can make it as a story make it little more interesting by doing uh, by making it more interesting you will learn how to make sentences right is it okay are, are you able to understand what i am trying to say yes sir so whenever you want to make a story yes, you will learn the language must fall much faster while making a story while making a story you will learn the language must much much faster okay let's go to the next story we will go one one more story can we go for one more story Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Story two. Story two. So, sir. yes. Thief, police, ran, dog, bike, accident, caught. Prison. So I have given three, four, five, six, seven, eight words: thief, police, ran, dog, bike, accident, caught, prison. So can you make some sentences first? Then we'll become make story later on. Can you make sentences? Sir. Yes, please. Um, a thief named. A thief. named named um, maybe tray what, what is the name you said t r t r e y e y ah yeah okay tray um, no t spelling is wrong my my spelling is wrong one minute one minute ah, i made a mistake t named tray yes um stole something from store something from a departmental store okay yeah. i'm just uh, helping you okay right okay then somebody else police catch the thief police chased the thief let's put it that way huh eh? right police chased the thief yes okay sir hmm. yeah, sir will you ask for my brother to tell us and yeah, yeah yeah please 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 everybody anybody can tell this, this is a class no hmm. police police chased the thief by the bike ah right police chase the three thief by driving the bike okay okay very good fantastic so you can catch them faster okay then what else any other any other so we have made only two statements two thief ha huh? thief got into the prison because of stole Something. A thief was caught by the police. We will put it. And police 
put the thief put the thief in the prison so where do we uh, you know put this dog sir hmm. yeah the the police the police took the evidence hmm. by the dog no okay can you can you make this sentence a little clear the police yeah. is it a police dog are, are you talking about police dog or is it an ordinary dog yeah 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 Police, police dog dogs. was uh, is employed to catch the thief. Yeah. Can we put it at okay? Now, yeah. can anybody make a story, nice story, putting, giving some name and little bit imagination also you bring in and make. I think I would request uh, that uh, that girl's brother. What is his name? I forgot his name. Adit. 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 Can you make a story out of this? Now, are you able to understand all the four sentences? I repeat, I read the sentence for you, Adit, and then from that you can make a story. A thief named Trey stole something from a departmental store. Police chased the thief by driving the bike. Thief was caught by the police. Police put the thief in the prison. Police dog is employed to catch the thief. Now, what we will do is we will sequence these sentences first. So, which will come the first sentence? So, let me give the uh, uh, a number for each sentence. Now, you tell me what is the sequence of this sentence. Maybe I will ask somebody else to make the sequence. What are the sequence? Which is the best sequence? Sir. So, which which sentence should will come first? Is it one? Yeah. Then. And the second one. Second the one second? is five or two? Two. Two. Then? So one, five, two, three, four. Okay, I, I'll go with this. One, five, two, then? Three, four. Three, four. Yes. Okay. Now, if you make this sequencing of sentence, now you can make the story. Then this will come very nice. Can you make a story out of this? Five sentences. And I have sequenced the sentence. I brought the fifth one as the second one. So let me let me you know cut and paste it there. The fifth one I am cutting and then making it as a making it as a second sentence. So that will be easy for you cut and making this as a second sentence. Yes, store and police dog is employed. Uh, no, police uh, employed and. This is the third one. This is fourth one. And this is fifth one. Okay. So, this I will erase now. Yeah. Now, all the... Uh, I made uh, for five, sent uh, five sentences. Let me make it little big for you. Hmm. Why it's not becoming big? And this is the maximum. Okay. So, a thief named Trey stole something from a departmental store. Police dog is employed to catch the thief. Police chase the thief by driving the bike. Thief was caught by the police. By the police. The police put the thief in the prison. Now, can you make a nice, interesting story out of this? I will. I will go with the, somebody senior students. Senior Jenny, can you try? Senior students means ninth and tenth standard uh, students can try. They can make a story out of this. You can put your imagination, employ your imagination to whatever imagination you want to employ and make a story out of this. Anybody can try. No, no, don't, don't bother whether it's right or wrong. It doesn't matter. Even if it is uh, no, wrong or right, it makes no difference. I mean, uh, don't bother. 
we will uh, sir i'm fine uh, yeah please once upon a time the thief tried to rob a bank but unfortunately the bank alarm is on so the police are come but the thief escaped by the bike accidentally he hit the thief dog and he slipped so easily the police catch the thief and putting the prison okay now he has changed the uh, changed the uh, i mean the story little bit he said the thief the thief thief took the bike and ran away correct he no he has changed the, no it is quite interesting so the, we have to use that bike uh, thief took the bike and ran away polish dog was employed i mean so this should become the second one this should become the second sentence this will become second sentence and police dog is employed uh, to chase and fourth one is uh, thief uh, was caught by police and this makes interesting so that uh, girl uh, rupesh uh, daughter can you try uh, to make a story uh, yes. adit adit uh, sister sir yeah please any one of you sir yeah and for a time the most the virgin called free mother was ill so he thought to steal from a department store mm. so he went there and stole something for his mother mm. after that police came with a police dog and uh and searched for evidence when he ran through a bike Right, a free dog came over there. Okay. So there was an accident happened there, mm. and it was a easy. It was easy for the police to caught the thief mm. and put into the prison. Oh, interesting. There's some more twist in the in the story. She said he went with the bike, met with an accident, so it was easy for the police to catch the thief. Interesting. Very good. I think you have brought in little more dimension to the story. Can somebody make another? some other story out of this the, the core of the uh, sentence are the same but you are trying to make some uh, different you uh, know it's like you know we make dosa at home and if you put a little bit of onion what is it called if you put onion onion, 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 dosa. Dosa, onion dosa then if you put some cauliflower that becomes cauliflower Cali dosa dosa like that no if you put some ghee it does become ghee dosa like that this girl Uh, you know, she has uh, brought in saying that uh, he took the bike and ran away and met with an accident. That is like our uh, onion met with an accident, and that made it easier for the police to catch him uh, with the help of a dog, and then police put him in the prison. Okay, very interesting. Any other thing you wanted to uh, 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 create? Somebody else? Sir, I also try to. Yeah, so you did it. No, no, no. Everybody did it. I am just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. See, all of you are trying to create. We are trying to create, learn uh, something from somebody, and how to make a sentence, how to make a story, how to make a beautiful story. Story means what? Normally, our grandmothers used to tell a story, and story has to be. There has to be some suspense. Little suspense has to be there. If you can bring in the suspense, that would be better. If you bring in the substance, that would be better. So uh, I don't know whether you can bring in the substance here. Can can you bring in some suspense here? What kind of suspense we can bring in? Can we may create some suspense here? So you can create some suspense also if you if you want, if you want to you know create some suspense you can create a thief named Trey stole something from a departmental store he wanted to he let us say instead of something I'll put a piece of bread a thief named Trey stole a piece of bread from a departmental store and he wanted to give this to the nearby beggar 
and he actually he was going towards the beggar that time uh, one dog was chasing him before because the dog chased him he ran away and the police thought he is running away by stealing something else some bigger things in the department store then they caught him and then put him in the prison something like that you can create sir, yeah sir yeah uh, the thief name tray mm. told something from a bank okay and the police chased him by a bike yeah and he caught the thief but after the police saw the thief mm. he, he he saw that the 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 thief was constable mm. and he was shocked and took him to the police station and kept him in the prison okay right so there could be many other things that one can do you can keep create whatever you study in your school or in your subject books try to create a story out of it you will never forget in your life suppose you are actually learning something on some mathematics something in mathematics you are learning but try to create a story on that mathematics you will never forget in your life you will keep on remembering it okay now i am going to give you uh, one one incidents or uh, one uh, one minute i will stop uh, uh, this thing stop sharing yeah so that i can see everybody i am going to give you a situation in that situation you listen to the story and then you give your uh, your judgment you are like a judge or you are going to tell advise somebody there is a departmental store run by let us say some ex ramesh is running a departmental store and it's a very big departmental store and ramesh at the end of the day he takes stock of the items in the departmental store what are the items were there whether you know uh, and he actually does the uh, calculation you know how, how, how much was sold whether the stock is uh, how much is stock is left out or what are the things which are not available all these things he is actually trying to find and he found this ramesh he found something or other is missing every day the stock says there are about 1200 items but actual i mean com computer uh, stock says 1200 when you count the actual thing it's only 1119 one or two items are missing let us say and next day also he, he took the stock again he found one or two are missing one or two items are missing and he was puzzled he was perplexed confused what to do then he appointed a new a security guard for the departmental store i uh, appointed a security guard and he instructed him he has to catch the person who is stealing some item in, inside the shop and bring that man or a boy or a girl to me to the owner because ramesh is the owner and the security guard was very alert he was actually watching each and every person who is coming inside the bed department store and going out of the department store is watching very you know with all these cameras etc they are watching and he found one boy of age 10 10 year old boy was trying to take away some item and trying to put inside the pocket inside the pocket is putting something so he went the security guard went and caught him on from the back he the security guard did not see his face he caught him from the back he, he actually uh, he held his shoulder and caught him and he turned him like this and he found the boy is none other than the son of the owner and he found the boy is none other than the son of the owner ramesh are, are, are is the story clear yes sir i i'll repeat once again so ramesh is a owner of a department store he takes stock he does the stock taking every day in the evening and he found that something or other are missing the computer stock says something and actual stock is less so he was really confused worried also he appointed a security guard to uh, put a full stop for this kind of pilferage and then uh, the security guard was appointed 
the security guard was very alert and seeing people who are coming in going out who is uh, taking what like that and he has seen four five days nothing happened on the fifth day he found one boy taking something and putting in the in his pocket and the security guard went uh, there and uh, actually uh, uh, caught him on the from the back and then he turned him like this and he found the boy is 10 year old boy is none other than the son of the owner now you tell me what the security guard should do you have to advise the security guard what he should do now he he should he should tell his father hmm. like the sec, the security owner hmm. the department store owner yeah hmm. yeah yeah and this the 10 year boy should get any kind of punishment hmm. Okay. First. Now, well, mm. your your uh, your logic is he should go and tell the owner about this boy, and he uh, he has to instruct the owner that uh, that boy should be given punishment. Am I correct? Yes, sir. But does the security guard have the liberty or the power to tell the owner that the boy has to be punished? No, sir. Uh, no, sir. He does not have the power to tell that he should be punished. He can catch and go and give the boy, uh, take the boy to the owner. That's all. Okay. So that is one thing. So whenever we make a story, whenever we make a statement, we have to you know little bit you know uh, think and then make. So that is the reason I gave it to you. Okay. What else? This is one option. One option is to take the boy to the owner. What is the other option? can the security guard warn give warning to the boy and leave him like that he can warn the boy say that you should not do like this you keep the items back in the in the shelf and then go away can he do that is it advisable for the security guard to do that i think yes sir because it is his job Yes, it's not clear, Elavarsi, madam. Yeah, tell me. I think yes, sir, because it's a job of the security, right? Hmm. It's job of the security guy to so catch I... and give it to the owner. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Assume that I am the owner. I am the Ramesh. And my son is actually stealing from the and security guard brought my son to me. I am asking the security guard, Mr. Security Guard, do you think if my son steals from my shop or takes away some my uh, something from my shop, do you consider this as a stealing? If I ask him like this, can I ask him like this? The owner may ask like that, no? After all, he is my only son. Sir, he, sir, can I repeat your sentence again? Yeah. So suppose I am the owner. I am Ramesh. I am the owner of the department store. Security guard has brought my son. Uh, and the security guard says this boy was trying to steal something now i am asking i may ask the uh, security guard mr security guard if my son takes from my shop do you consider this as a stealing i may ask like that no do you understand what i am saying yes yeah. say suppose so, if, my, if my son takes yeah. something from my home or from my shop Can we consider that 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 as a stealing? Yes, sir. Because because they doubt because the security doubt him. Hmm. So what is the reply the security guard can give for that? Suppose the owner says like this. But the but the owner son should inform his father, sir. What the son should inform what? that he is taking anything from the shop no so suppose okay no uh, taking something but the, the, the son let us say the security guard uh, uh, takes away that item puts back on the shelf and then takes the boy to the uh, owner and says that this boy was trying to steal i took back that item and kept it in the shelf and then i brought him here and he is happens to be your uh, son like that and that uh, owner knows 
so but the boy may say appa i did not steal anything he may say like that he may lie also no i did not do anything only this man uh, dragged me to you is there a possibility for that uh <laughs> i think it no it may all i don't know what to say for this sir. okay so now i i just wanted to teach you two things one is in life such situation will come to you in sometimes we may not be in a position to take the uh, decision very firm decision we may if this boy is 15 year old or 16 year old grown up boy who is studying 9th and 10th standard then probably you can catch him and then go and give it to his father but a 10 year old boy is still a young boy so my father also say hey kya hai what is happening why are you uh, bringing this my my son here he is a small boy and he is taking from his father's uh, the shop why are you punishing him he may say like that or he may he may even appreciate that security guard good man you have really done the job even if you come to know that he is my son of uh, my my son you still you brought him here great job you have done like that also he can say so there could be many consequences of one action isn't it yes is there any other option for a security guard yes what else can he do other than these two so think over these are some things which will come in our real life uh, you know uh, many things by doing this real life uh, situations we try to make sentences we learn english also yes or no or any language for that matter whatever be the language you can learn while narrating a story what is the last movie you have seen some of you jenny jeswin what is the last movie you have seen diwali yes yes uma rupesh what is the movie you have seen yeah amaran sir amaran you have seen so can anybody narrate the story of amaran can anybody narrate the story of amaran yes. sir i saw the movie so i don't know the story you saw the movie but you don't know the story no sir i didn't saw oh, the movie so you did not see the movie I okay no no people who have seen the movie can anybody narrate the story any of you whoever has seen uma sir, Rabe, uma no. rupesh yeah please what of you anybody sir um it's a story about a man who died in 44 rr hmm um yes he's an army man am i correct yeah mm. yeah and he did lots of work mm. by killing our opponent like killing the enemies terrorists yeah huh. yeah so why, why and, you, yeah carry carry on carry on then we will yeah um he died by killing it enemy mm. and <laughs> i don't know what to say you yeah, know name and all we forget it forget about the name so what did you like in that movie what did you like in that movie why he became popular because he killed each and every enemy mm. that they are occupying india yeah but he did not fear for his life am i correct no he didn't he did not fear for his like he knows very well when he goes and approaches the terrorist and the terrorist is there in the bunker isn't it yeah and the bunker and the bunker in the bunker the terrorist can see you and you cannot see him you cannot see him you can see his rifle or uh, his pistol like that but you cannot see that man so in spite of that this man this uh, the hero he shot them he killed both of them by the time he received four bullets in his chest and then he came out he came out and called all others to come inside you know for what he called them why did he call all the others to come in other soldiers 
telling that the terrorist is die no there is one more soldier who was actually uh, you know he was shot and this man wanted to save that soldier even though this man received the bullets but his mm-hmm. mind says we should save that soldier he called everybody so that they will take that soldier back to the poly i mean to the hospital or somewhere to give treatment by that time this man died am i correct yeah yeah so that is why he was given so much importance he became popular because he did not care for his life but he was caring for the life of a co soldier who has died or dying in the in the in that incident in uh, in the process he killed uh, two or three terrorists in that uh, this one and he made it sure, he made sure that all those hostages are released safely am i correct yes sir yeah so these are some of the things the, uh, the real uh, you know heroism of that particular man okay can anybody uh, narrate a story on some other movie which you have seen recently rakshan what movie you have seen uh, rakshan in the recent past anybody have seen the, uh, some movies maybe in the theater maybe in your uh, in your television screen real agency yes real agency what movie real agency sir real agency yeah can you tell me the story madam real agency yeah can you tell me the story can you tell me the story it Interest- is about it is about the it is about uh, comparing the tradies uh, it is about uh, and in the starting of that movie uh, he will lo- the hero will lost his own house mm. and he will ca- he will go to madras mm. after a long period of time during his sister's marriage mm. he will come again to his uh, own town uh he will come again to his own um, own place called tanjavur and he will see all the places and he will got emotional it's about comparing the modern and the traditional days yeah okay good see whenever you go to a movie or watch something in your television try to narrate the story to somebody else maybe for your grandmother be it any language preferably english but it can be even tamil or any other language try to narrate then your thinking process will become clarity will be there which one to tell first which one to tell the last because in the movie they may show the last scene in the front in the beginning and then they will uh, go for a, you know they narrate what ha- had happened but when you are telling the story you cannot do that you should tell sequentially so that it will be clear to them and it will be helpful for improving our language okay the whole idea of uh, doing the storytelling is to improve our language improve our thought process you go and ask your mother uh, this aditi's sister you ask your mother how to make rasam and she will tell you one by one first initially you have to put some oil and put some uh, that one uh, mustard and then curry k- karve pala or curry patta curry leaves you have to put and then you put some uh, tamarind water and or uh, some other thing uh, no uh, tomato water and uh, dal she already she would have taken dal from somewhere else and then you can put it there so sequencing is there she will teach you like that do this do this 1 2 3 4 like that she will tell you while narrating this while teaching this our thought process also works very nicely and our clarity will come so which one to tell first which one to la- tell later all these things she will come to know and then that will help you so same thing happens in our subject also whatever you teach whatever you learn you teach somebody when i said teach not necessarily that man has to improve you can even teach to a wall you can even teach to a, a tree the tree will not ask any question no will tree ask any question to you no it will listen that's all the wall also will listen maybe if you tell this to your mother she may ask one or two questions she may not ask also so never mind we, we are not bothered whether they they really understand whether they really uh, ask question or but our main aim is to improve our language command to bring in some clarity for our uh, thinking okay so you try to do that in your uh, home in your school in your uh, wherever uh, you know you get opportunity we'll close at this uh, since uh, annapurni madam did not come 
I thought I will uh, engage you for a class. So in between, after one or two class of an Anapurni madam, I will also come again. I will come up with some other thing. Uh, you know, we will show a picture. Based on that, we will try to make sentences and stories. I will show a picture instead of telling the situation. Later on, we can even uh, show a picture, or we can run an audio. You will listen to the audio, and then you will answer some questions. Now, if you want to go to U.S. and other countries. You have to write what is called TOEFL, T-O-E-F-L, an exam called TOEFL, or you have to write an exam called I-E-L-T-S. In that, there is one portion which is called listening portion. Somebody will talk, you have to listen, and based on that, some question will be there. You have to answer. So listening also is as good as talking. So a communication in communication, both listening and talking is very important. and you are considered to be a good communicator only when the other man understands suppose i talk lot of interesting things and if you don't understand anything then can i be called as a good communicator no i am not a good communicator i am a good good communicator only when you people understand same thing applies to you same thing applies to everybody so keep this in mind you will be a good communicator only when the other man understands suppose uh, other man is a uh, telugu speaking fellow and you are talking everything in english and tamil he does not understand anything then can you can we call you as a good communicator no you have to understand that man what exactly he understands which language he knows and you should communicate in that language then only you will be a good communicator so we will keep talking like this uh, couple of other things also uh, one by one in the classes to come i will be coming now uh, once in uh, two or three classes when Anapurni is not around. Okay, thank you so much for your patience listening. Hope it is useful to you. Uh, uh, you can give your comments in the our uh, WhatsApp group also. Uh, whether it's useful or not useful, how we can uh, you know make it more useful. Some suggestions, etc. I request all of you to give some comments in the this thing so that we will improve. We will improve our classes.